Hi friends, this is Ann, the social worker from Racker, and I heard this week you're working on ocean animals. So I wanted to introduce you to some of my little fish friends, and they have different feelings faces on them. So we're gonna work on guessing what the feeling is. Let's see if you can do it. This is the first fish. It's yellow, and he, if you look at his face, has a smile, and this is the feeling you have when you're playing and laughing and maybe dancing and when you have your favorite toy. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, it looks like happy. Can you make a happy face? Good job. This is the next feeling. This feeling's blue. Look, he has a frown and he's crying. And this is what you might feel if you fall and you hurt your knee or maybe you miss your mom or maybe the feeling you'd have if you lost your favorite toy. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's sad. Can I see your sad face? Oh, that was good. Okay, you're doing a great job. Let's see the next one. This fish is red and look at his face. His eyebrows are down and he has kind of a grumpy look. This is the feeling when maybe somebody takes your toy out of your hand and you weren't quite done with it yet. Or maybe if somebody pushes you and you fall over, what might you feel? That's right, mad. Oh my goodness, good job. Let's see your mad face. Oh, that's a good mad face. This feeling, let's see if we can guess what this is. Oh my goodness, he has big eyes in his mouth. This is a feeling, maybe if you see a snake or a spider, what could it be? That's right, it's scared, good job. Hmm, let's see your scared face. Good job. All right, and this is the last one. This one's kind of tricky. This is one that when we're kind of afraid that something might happen and it might be a little scary and we don't know what it is, this one's worried. Hmm. We're going to talk about next what we can do if we have some of these big feelings. We don't know what to do with them. There's lots of things you can do. One thing is you could find something really soft to squish and hug, and that might help you feel a little bit better. Or you might take a big breath. I know a lot of you do this in class. You might take a balloon breath. Or you could count to five. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four, five. The other thing you could do is you could tell somebody in your house what you're feeling. You could tell them you're feeling happy or sad or mad or scared, and a grown-up could help you with those big feelings. And the other thing you could do is maybe take a break somewhere warm and comfy. So I hope that you did a great job figuring out what those feelings are, and you think of some of those things you can do if you're having big feelings. I hope you have a good week, and hope to see you soon. Bye.